it's day four day four of swimming insights okay it's my fourth day swimming and today the key the thing i got was lose yourself in the rhythm okay lose to lose yourself in the rhythm i didn't realize how easy it is to just let the resistance slip away when we just take that one moment of courage that makeup's only half done uh that one moment of courage right just take the first step and then most of the things we've got to do are actually just a rhythm right most here's how that applies in my life so i've been having a lot of um problems with food and by that i mean like i'm very very addicted to food and i need to take you know, I need to do something about it. So it was yesterday, day three in the pool, that I decided, no, let me treat this problem, my food addiction, the way I would help someone else with it, you know? So without, you know, just letting go of all my excuses and everything else, what would I see it as? And how, how would I go about breaking my current food, not necessarily addiction, but my very bad habits? Like, why is my food addiction a problem for me? Because of A, B, and C. Okay, now how do we tackle those things? Anyway, the point is, I haven't been cooking very much. And I had excuses. Oh, I don't have a gas cylinder. Well, now I do. I don't have cooking oil. Well, now I kind of do. Um, I didn't have the pots and pans. Well, now I do. <laughs> so once I got all those pieces, last night, I was like, ooh, I even have vegetables in the fridge. So rather than ordering, ordering food after a very very long hard day uh, working I used the momentum of you know just sort of finishing work and not sitting down and not opening my app to order food I used that momentum to just go into the kitchen and just pull out the different things look at the cauliflower part of it was had gone bad chop that part off and then it became a rhythm it became a momentum Another thing I did to help this rhythmic momentum as I was cooking was I played music in the background. Music that was familiar to me, that I took joy in. And I was shelling peas, and I have no idea how long I shelled those peas for, because there were a lot of peas to shell. <laughs> but it was such a soothing thing to do with my hands, with the music playing and me singing out loud. You know, it was a rhythm, it was, it was great. For me as a person, who has had a long, long time living, right? Living, it's not a history, it's like my, my state of being was in anxiety and depression for so, so, so long that I love soothing rhythmical movements. I love rhythm, that's why I love music so much. I, you know, the, anything that has rhythm is soothing. And the things that we don't do, for me, in this instance, cooking, and today when I was at the pool, what I decided to do was I wanted to also break through another uh, resistance I had, which was about um, launching some summer English programs because I'm also an English teacher alongside being a mindset coach. And so what I did was I started swimming and thinking about how, you know, what are the steps I have to take? And without really even realizing I was just breathing in the rhythm of my swimming and the thoughts were coming with each breath and it became a rhythm like the movement of my body and the movement of my breath coming in and out the slight breathlessness even it was so soothing and so this thing that I was having some resistance on which is you know launching this English program it just became part of the rhythmic movement okay then I've got to do this I can do this today let me do this and it was not like, oh, I've got so many, ooh. I have so many things to do, right? It was more of, okay, it's all possible if I just do it in a rhythm. Just like these videos sometimes, what I do, I may not have posted every day, but every day after coming back from swimming, you know, I put myself together and the fresh thoughts, I just put them out there like this on YouTube. And I'm glad that I have this bed frame that I can perch my phone on so I can talk to you while I'm getting dressed and it makes me enjoy my life. Life is a series of rhythms and whenever we have resistance, that resistance is a block to the flow of energy to where we're going, right? If we want to go on the other side of the block we have, let the block melt away and don't, I mean, 
for me, my anxiety would say, oh, this block is just an indicator of there just being a whole bunch of bumps, right? The, 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 road, the, the road is not smooth. Well, regardless of whether the road is smooth or not ahead, life is a rhythm. We have to take action repeatedly, and that rhythm is soothing. We've got to believe that the rhythm of us taking action is soothing. The rhythm of us promoting ourselves, it needs to become a rhythm so that it is effortless so that we know what the next that there is a next step not like oh my gosh there's another step how am i gonna do it i've just finally completed step one am i gonna be able to do step two you know no no no. it's a rhythm after step one comes step two after step two comes step three and i think it also helps us build trust right when something even with music and we're enjoying and we're listening to the rhythms. I don't think we've ever felt like, oh my gosh, I really hope this song ends on a good note, right? Or I, I wonder how they're gonna resolve the melody. Our life is like that song. If, if, if we have a certain desire, a certain end destination, let's flow towards it with the rhythms of life with intentional steps in the right direction and of course please pause when you need to when things are not going well do pause do reflect and pivot and keep going in the direction that you know and when i say you i don't mean the cognitive mind that is so anxious and so filled with doubt and so filled with worries all the worries in the world no 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 i'm talking about the inner self the inner guidance and the inner guidance is the one that is telling you there is joy in this direction. There is fulfillment in this direction. There is satisfied in this direction. So always make sure that you are on the path of that inner guidance. I'm gonna stop talking now. My name is Nandini. Please, please subscribe if you'd like to see more. I would love for this channel to grow and flourish. And I love you very much. I'll see you in the next one.